Hi there, and welcome to The Doe Show for Wednesday, August 29th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Danby Dextrous, and we have another really great show for you today. Uh, this was the second weekend of the marathon, Coronation 43! Uh, yeah, so it was events Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, night, Sunday night, night and we lots. were at all of them filming for you. So, uh, let's get right into it. On Thursday night, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose, I will say it once, <laughs> and, um, put on their command show. And uh, basically what it was is uh, Kenya and, and Tam, Harvey, oh, Hart, well, whatever, <laughs> Davina and, and the half empresses, anyway, everybody got to pick like a command and they, and they said, you, there, perform for me, and told them what to do and stuff. Anyway, it was a really fun night that way. We got to see some uh, repeats kind of thing, but we also got to see a few... Um, completely brand new, amazing performances. Yeah. Um, Bianca Lovegood was out, so you know I'm going to talk about her. Uh, she did, <laughs> she did No Good Deed, and it was so fun. Mm -hmm. And the audience just ate it up. It was, it was so good. Um, one of the others that I have to talk about was, I think it was Morgan Fair, I believe it was Morgan uh, Entertainer of the Year, I believe it was her command. Uh, she actually had Carmen, Carmen Dioxide oh, wow. out, right? I mean, yay. yay! We hadn't seen her forever, so uh, it was so good to see her, and she brought out some people I hadn't seen before, so I mean, that's always great to see at nice. a show and everything else. Um, Godiva! Yeah. Uh, Godiva did Oompa which is like probably my favorite number of hers, so to have, yeah. like, and like, she just soaked everyone! It was so <laughs> good! <laughs> it was so good! Um, and the other one that I have to talk about was, was Cat Marlowe Menorah. And I believe it was Vanity Fair that, that had uh, Cat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the performance was stone cold. And it was yeah. just... It was fabulous, girl. Oh! <laughs> anyway, it was so good. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you for having us at that. And uh, good choices, everyone. We had a really good time. Yeah. Uh, that was Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> On Friday, the IFCWR had their out-of-town show. So this is when the Vancouver Court and the Regina Court and the Calgary Court and the Winnipeg Court and the Surrey Court, and there may have been even more, I'm not even totally all sure, but I know at least those ones were all there. Um, yeah. They all did performances, and there were solo performances, group performances, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Um, it actually started off with a performance from the entire upper house for Brain 42 with Jacques Strap yes. in his female guise. She's a Tucker. She's a Tucker. And they did a huge montage. It's 11 minutes long or something. They, yeah. Like nine seven and a half, minutes. Nine and a half? Seven? Is it only seven? Anyway, it's long. Okay. According to them, it was long. Um, it might have been nine minutes. I think it was like nine and a half minutes. Anyway, uh, anyway, it was fabulous <laughs> and it was so good to see. And, and I love big choreographed numbers, so uh, I wasn't expecting that in yeah. the least. So good job on all of it. it was and obvious. like a short time to choreograph. Yeah, it. exactly. Because because like, Renee had only been in town a few weeks. So, yeah. Uh, so. Congratulations to them for for putting that on. Obviously, she, a lot of work had gone uh, into it. She put it on, and that was so cool. Um, some of the performances from the out of towners that I have to talk about have to talk about. Okay. Uh, one of my favorites, Iona Whip was in town and, and yeah. she did Everybody's Girl and I mean she's just she's just a little sex pot. I just I love Iona <laughs> Whip. Um, I just uh, she always puts on a, a, a fabulous show. Um, and then Amy Grindhouse, Misty Meadows, Boss, Continental Breakfast, yeah. and PM. Like shout out to like those people. Um, I the, certainly know that Vancouver really brought it out. The Dogwood, Dogwood Monarchist Society rocked my world on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. uh, Misty did Groove is in the Heart and absolutely killed it. And I just died when Slammed the Back Door was tipping her and like started doing the guy part because Misty didn't know right. it. Like it was just, it was killer. And like it was just like this fabulous little moment that just happened. Oh yeah. And so anyway, you'll have to check that out. Um, but yeah, Misty was fantastic. Boss, who is the creative director of the Dogwood Monarchist Society, and I'm not 100% sure what that is, um, but whatever. Um, 
Jeez. my favorite of the night. My yeah. favorite of the night. Like it was just, it was just, it was mind blowing. Um, Continental Breakfast did this amazing number where like it was visually like this, artistic. Oh, <laughs> it was just like this beautiful art piece, and like he's uh -huh. sitting there with the wind in his hair. Like it was, it was so. You cool. have to watch it. You need to watch that just to experience that live. Was 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 it was incredible. And then and then PM Pussy Melt. Uh, came out and just like stomped the house down, boots, yes, God, all those things. It was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy, did Donatella. So thank you, Vancouver, for coming and rocking my world because that was just absolutely stupendous. And it just, <laughs> I, I used to get in trouble because I would talk about drag shows and court shows and differentiate, but I'm sorry. That was some of the best drag I'd ever seen. And it was at a, a court show. So, Thank you. It was it was yeah. it was amazing. Saturday, I S C W R put on the actual main event, Coronation Forty Three. Um, yes, the main event. The main event. Um, Emperor Forty Two, Trailer Park Trash, and Empress Forty Two. Can you do it? Both step down, and congratulations to them both on a fantastic year and a fabulous event. It was wonderful to be a part of, and I. I'm still just beyond honored to honored. have been asked to, to to sing the national anthems and and thank you again Trey for that. Mm -hmm. It was it was truly wonderful to be a part of that night. Uh, and you and I tag teamed that event. We did. You, you filmed the first half of it and I filmed the latter half of exactly. it. Exactly. I was heading out to work at Evolution that later on that night, so yeah. Bambi came in and, and filmed the rest of the show. And actually filmed a, a heck of I only filmed like one set. Bambi filmed three sets, but um, I was actually there for probably about the same amount of time because right. there was a lot going on beforehand. But yeah, whatever. Uh, it was it was a fun time, and uh, yeah, some of the performances from that night that I have to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Chatty Kathy Jackson oh. uh, did her 40th anniversary walk, 40th which was anniversary super walk. cool to have that for the channel. We were really excited about that. Um, Olive Pitt did a call it the call lesbian, lesbian number, and like. Christy and I were just dying. <laughs> we were just dying during that number. So thank you to all of for bringing that because that was just hilarious. Um, and, and that one, I didn't even know what to call it because I, I labeled it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what to call it because it was like, so I called it. Call it the, the lesbian, lesbian is perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then uh, speaking of absolutely fabulous, we had we had um, some other Teresa. And slammed the back door. Did, oh, yeah. it, did a fabulous duet. It was the Sia dancing number, the greatest. Um, the greatest. And it was just, it was just beyond ridiculous, but <laughs> beyond perfect. Like it was just, it was wonderful, wonderful drag. And that was actually the, um, that was the uh, Big Onion uh, command yes. uh, from the Out of Town show. She had won, gone around and and had raised the most money. Oh. So that performance was for that. So It'll fabulous. Make sense now. It was fabulous. <laughs> um, the other one that I have to talk about is Misty and Continental, and then joined yes. by um, Amy Grindhouse and and Boss and, and PM. PM. Uh, plus the mouth. Um, they did. They both reached for the gun. Yes, from from Chicago. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a fun number and great way to include all of them. And mm -hmm. I love that. Even with his broken leg, they keep finding he keeps finding ways to like not hold back and have it not hold him back in a performance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. anyway, I there's just something about the Vancouver crew, so I was so thankful for them this weekend. It was so good to see. Yeah. Um, the other one that I have to talk about, Melinda Verga. Yeah. Melinda fucking Verga. Um, <laughs> I like to joke with that bitch uh, about how eh, standard whenever standard. she gets off stage kind of thing. And I did it to her again this time. She came off just, <gasps> you know what I mean? After like six minutes or whatever that was of just stomping the house. And, and I was just like, yeah. <laughs> you kind of think. Uh, but yeah, it was just amazing. Like, oh, like, yeah. like oh, Melinda's girl, fun. girl, so you think you can dance. My God. Anyway, bitch better have my money. Uh, it was it was just absolutely stupendous and like yeah. n without a doubt the, the number of the night like it was just so high energy and so fabulous like mm -hmm. anyway uh, I, I'm not going to the sentimental crap I'm sorry Melinda that yeah. was the one <laughs> um, 
to wrap up the weekend on the Sunday, the ISCWR put on their annual event, Tough Drag. Mm -hmm. uh, it was hosted yeah. by last year's winner, Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Um, there was uh, a few performers that tried out, but the two yeah. that I have to talk about is Kijiji uh, did Uptown Funk, which was just killer. And yeah. again, thank Kijiji you to Kijiji did that. Thank you to Trey for the name because Kijiji <laughs> is just brilliant. Which we've now updated the oh. playlist. Twist yeah. the Lime is no more. Yeah, Twist it's the Lime is just, dead. It's all just Kijiji. Long live Kijiji. Um, and then the winner of the night was actually our own Miss Indecisive. Mr. Mister Mister Indecisive. Indecisive. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Mr. won that one. Rusted from the rain. So it was, yeah. it was his number. So uh, congratulations to Mr. Indecisive. Yeah. And of course it's very wonderful to see Anita Coffee out there performing. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and eating it for the tough drag. Absolutely. Great and, job, Anita. And, uh, and David Dragon who was uh, Lucinda Holes. Was, yeah, the, was co -host. the co host with, with Cinnamon. So uh, that was Tough Drag. Later on that night, they had the second show, uh, which was Coronation Holdover. Holdover, yes. Um, again. So all the people that were left in the city, uh, they performed, some of these out of towners performed yet again. Exactly. Uh, again, hosted by Cinnamon. Yes. Um, which, was, which was a lot of fun. Uh, somewhat co hosted by out of town guests. Satina Loren, yeah. uh, who we always love to see and we look forward to every year at Coronation when mm -hmm. she comes down. Bitch really needs to come out more often, that's what we're saying. Yeah. Um, and Ruby Hart, who hasn't yes. been out for a while. So uh, congratulations to her coming back. It was great to see her out. It was great to see numbers. Ruby Hart come out. Mm -hmm. And the other one that also came up to Edmonton, I'll let you talk about her because I know you just want to gush all over this next queen. We got a couple of performances from a drag queen named Kelly Le Kelly Elatrix. Elatrix. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it Ele Electrix, but it's not Electrix. It's, it's not Elatrix. Uh, Kelly came out in uh, Alberta's Next Drag Superstar 2007, 16, 17. I'm not 100% sure. Um, there was some mild war wardrobe malfunctions and ended up not going through to the next round, which was sad because. Uh, She's a stunning looking queen. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, Kelly came out and, and did two fabulous numbers. And the one that I just, I, I still, days later, I'm just stunned by, mm -hmm. uh, was called Never Enough. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. She looked amazing. The dress was flawless. The performance was just stunning. Like the lip sync was there. The, like, it was just, uh -huh. I, thought, I thought she looked kind of like Trish Stratus. I don't oh. know if that means anything to anybody, but I thought she was just giving me Trish Stratus realness, and I just, I, I, it was absolute wow. perfection, and I, it is absolutely my pick of the week. I, I'm not that even is gonna, high I'm, praise. I'm not even gonna, yeah. Anyway, um, and I'm not alone in that. I, I've talked to many people that just were also completely and utterly blown away by that, and mm -hmm. and and honestly, she didn't get a tip, and that. On one hand, I was just like, how is that possible? But I talked to a couple of people and they, it was just, they just were mesmerized. They didn't want to interrupt They didn't want to interrupt her performance. Like they just sat there just like, ugh. Yeah. So, uh, Kelly, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was just fabulous. So please, please, please get your ass up here and perform for us more often. <laughs> that was yeah. just Stunning. And your other number was wonderful as well. Like, it really was. You looked great. But, like, never enough. Oh! <laughs> girl! I, like, I'm all, like, I'm just, I'm seriously already considering and nominating that for a stiletto. Like, I just, wow. blah! Blah! That was last week. <laughs> <laughs> and what's coming up this week is... On Friday, uh, the ISCWR is helping present Days for Girls in Zimbabwe. Um, it is hosted and put on by Lady, Lady Tender, Tender Flake at Evolution Wonder Lounge at 8 p.m. I think it shows at 9. And 9 p.m. sharp. <laughs> 9 p.m. sharp. And that is 10 bucks and that's going to charity. So that'll be fabulous. And you can look at the event to find out all about it. Um, Saturday at Have Mercy at 9 p.m. is A League of Her Own. It is the very first of the Ivy League series Ivy League at Have Mercy. Have so Mercy. Uh, congratulations to her for that. We're not 100% sure going to be there, um, or somebody may not be there because, again, we're still short-staffed on our on our videographies. Um, 
but you should go. <laughs> um, on Sunday, we have Calgary Pride Recovery featuring RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 alum, Yahui, Yahua Hamasaki. <laughs> Yuha Hamasaki. That's the one! Um, <laughs> tickets are $10 uh, at the door, $20 meet and greet if you want that in advance. Uh, we have amazing local performers Openers. opening up as well. Uh, Roselle Christina. Das. Miss Evo! Miss Evo 2. There you go. Twiggy. Twiggy. And uh, Alberta's Next Drag Superstar 2017. Seventeen. Divina 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 die for! So Yay. that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so definitely you should check those out. Uh, videos for, I'm sure, will be coming next I'm week. Sure so all that kind of stuff, soon. so look for those. Um, I just need to say that over the last few days on Dragging Our Heels, uh -huh. we have uploaded 89 videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True story, bro. True story. 89 <laughs> videos since... In, uh, since the last time we sat down to do this. So, uh, yeah, it has been it was an absolutely crazy weekend. Crazy week. And we did all this filming and we did all the uploading ourselves, so... Girl, we're exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Uh, it was great to be a part of. We look forward to uh, being a part of Rain 43. Congratulations to Morgan Fair and, and uh, the Dragon. Dragon. Um, congratulations to you both. We look forward to working with you this year and... Uh, raising some money for your fabulous charities, um, yeah. Homeward Trust and uh, the Pride Center of Edmonton. So, um, yeah, that's going to be fabulous. Now, I've already given mine away. Yes. Kelly Electrics. Okay, Never pick enough. of the week. Pick of the week. We said I didn't bother talking to anybody else. Right. Uh, my pick of the week is going to Mr. Chatty Kathy Jackson, the mm. Barbara Streisand mix. Nice. Because of the sheer fact of how historical it mm. was. Like, Chatty Cathy never performs. No. And she came out for her 40-year walk or something. Yes. Uh, it's been 40 years since she was Empress, I believe, is what that basically means. Yeah. Because we were just on 42, and I think she was Empress too. So, it's historical. She is a very seasoned performer, a very long-term performer, and... We She's got a whole spice rack. She's so seasoned. <laughs> yeah, we never filmed her before. No! I, I, She's now not at all. I, maybe once. No. Never. No, never. It's never. a debut. No, you're right, you're right. This we was a have. debut. So anyway, it was very cool. So, this yeah. is a cherry poppin'. Ha! <laughs> we should get her for the show. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, it was a fabulous weekend to be a part of. And, uh, yeah, you should definitely check out the videos on... on I'm Jay Garen Heels. Yes. That's a good place to look for them. Um, <laughs> As he forgets the name. Right? The Bukaki. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm really not trying to be racist. I just really don't. I didn't watch that season. I don't know how to say... I don't know how to say half their names. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, you should like and share and subscribe and stuff. You know? Yeah. We That'd like be that. nice. <laughs> We'd like that. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching. And thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.